Okay, well, I tried, I checked out that live thing and I had to watch the video to even know if the mic was working. I couldn't tell, but um, I'll leave it there. I mean, I didn't say nothing, so uh, I was just explaining to a friend of mine that Yeah, they, there's a couple of them. They, they watch me on uh, Facebook Live and on that Adult Friend Finders there. But, and if any of you are on Adult Friend Finders, I mean, make sure you say hi. I, mean, I, don't, I don't care. Whatever. It don't matter. It's just all just fun, you know. But anyway, let's uh, look at Fubo. Oh, my gosh. Can you believe this? I, I can't, it was just, that's just a crazy move, you know. When you look at this, so I want to shrink this up a little bit because this was, this was the start of the day and it jumped up here. And then, I mean, you know, I thought we were going to have a change around and then look at this. Yeah, that, that looks legit, right? Not a chance, you know. This is what you get in this corrupt market that we have here with a bunch of corrupt people freaking watching it. It's just, that's ridiculous. That, I mean, in my opinion, and I know it doesn't carry much weight and I'm a little antsy tonight for some reason. I'm like moving around, I don't know. But uh, in my opinion, this is all market maker. Okay, so... First thing in the morning, jump it up. Now, they've been way down around this buck and a half thing for like ever. You know, we all know that. So they're collecting chairs, collecting chairs, collecting chairs. And then now they run it up here, sell off whatever shares they want to sell off, and then look at it. Just force it back down. You know, or, or it could have been somebody covering shorts then they get up here then we'll just redo it again eh? short it back down and you get you know i mean you probably got some day traders in there that once it got up here and it didn't seem like it was going to push any higher then all the day traders start start selling i mean that's what i would have done you know as soon as you take this dip and then it struggled to get up past this again I would have dumped whatever I had bought, eh? And that's probably what happened here. Because there's like one, this is a one minute chart. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, like ten minutes. Boom. Down. You know, but these charts, they're just digging that hole deeper and deeper. Do you see that? Almost 64 million on this. And the market maker, the market maker really struggles to hold this down here. And, you know, I, I want to say it's a market maker because in my experience, you know, these market makers nowadays are shatty as hell. You know, they're front running. They're, you know, you got this payment for order flow stuff, which is all, you know, payment for order flow thing is legal. Front, front running is illegal, but they just pay a fine and, you know, move on with everyday scenarios. So, and of course, you know, Mr. Gary Gensler, he, he allows it. So, you know, pay the fine. Oh yeah, pay the fine and you're good to go. But, uh, so they, but they really struggled here. You know, they, you see on you, um, the big, Big blocks, and basically it's just a fake wall put there, you know, as they dump off shares and exchange shares between market makers and burn things off exchange and all the manipulation that they're doing, you know. But 60, 64 million short on Fubo here, that's up there. You know, I've been watching this a long time now. That's up there. Something's going to give here. And if something happens, if something good comes out, and there's a lot of buying pressure, they're in trouble. Mark my word, this is, this is 
gonna go. It's just a matter of time. They're dragging, dragging it out, dragging it out, you know. But, uh, you know, it gets below that buck and a half, and it, it's, they just can't keep that, keep that down. You know, it just, it, you know, market maker doesn't want to go underwater. I mean, that's, that's the thing, you know. They can manipulate stuff like crazy and, and say it's legal and whatever, pay fines and do whatever. That was it Susquehanna or whatever the hell it's called. You know, they're right at the top for how many fines they pay in a year. It's ridiculous. I think the one year that we were covering AMC, um, and everybody was digging into stuff. I think that Susquehanna or whatever had like 50... 50 plus fines that they paid. I think it was a meeting within, with uh, like senators or, or somebody in office or whatever. They're um, not senators. It's somebody in office, so they have them all in a room. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. They have them all in a room with all the big wigs and stuff, and they're talking about. Um, the trading market and stuff like that. I don't remember what the hell it was called, but, um, and one of them brought it up and said, you know, that these market makers are just adding those fines in as cost to doing business. And the meanwhile, um, retirement funds and, you know, stuff like that are just getting hammered. And, uh, and that's, you know, they were talking about the payment for order flow and, and off exchange trading and, Stuff like that, so. But of course, you know, nothing got, nothing was done. Everything's still the same, probably worse than it was, you know, two years ago. So, I found it, I found it interesting at the end of the day today. When this was running down, I mean, my watch list, it was just flashing like crazy. All the price changes. And everything was going red. And it was the same time this was going down too. Now tell me that's not a market maker. You know, he probably did it with every stock, you know. And only a few, only a few. Well, on my watch list here, which I have some pretty sketchy ones, but um, Tesla stayed green, Carvana stayed green, and GameStop stayed green. Fuel cell stayed green by a penny. This is another one I'm watching for is fuel cell. Because, you know, same, same shit. Look at, boom. This was today. Starting of the day. Okay, let's take, take a look at this. This is fuel cell's chart. That's Fubo's chart. Back to fuel cell. Now you tell me what those two have in common. Nothing. There's nothing in common. Other than probably the market maker. So, and it's the same thing. Run it up. Drug it across all day. Boom. Hammer it down. Same game. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow and next week. Between these two though, Fuel Cell and Fubo, they're, they're, they're gonna fly when things get messy. So it's just a matter of time. But I'm, I'm actually, I switched this, obviously at UC, I switched this and I went to the Bolger bands and uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on different indicators and stuff because I mean, I like the MACD and the RSI, and if I subscribe to the Trading View, I can have three. It's no big deal, but I unsubscribe to everything when I quit day trading. But I'm going to start subscribing again, and that's why I want to figure out the, the YouTube Live thing. And I noticed that the, the mic was working. I just didn't see it, you know. I'm not familiar with YouTube Live, so... I'll have to do a few more and get familiar with what's going on and 
and stuff. So you'll see me on the live more often. Even if I'm just playing World of Warcraft, I'll still be on there. I'll be I'll be checking it out and getting used to it and so I know how to react to it. You know, it was completely new tonight when I did it. I had no idea what it was even supposed to look like and if my microphone was working or nothing. But then I watched the video later and the mic, the mic was working. So it, it's all good. Um, but Fubo, I mean, this is, this is just a fabulous buying opportunity right now. You remember the, the tape measure scenario? I did in the video, you know, stretch out a tape measure. This has been up to like $32 and it's at a buck and a half now. I mean, I mean, if you just stretch out a tape measure, put your finger where the price is, just look at it. Look at risk versus reward. You know, I mean, obviously this is going back to seven, eight bucks eventually. It's 64 million short. It, it's got to. It's just a matter of time. So, uh, I got a couple of weeks here, and I'm going to start start buying shares and and probably day trading this, maybe swing trading it. We'll see. Um, just so you know, I put it out there right now. You know, I'm not holding anything. You know, for a long amount of time, it's just not me. You know, I'm going to be 54 years old at the end of the month here. Uh, holding shares is not for this guy. So, but we'll, I'm, I was doing, yeah, I was doing options and oh man, they sucked me right into that. And I had a couple bad ones that expired on me. A couple hundred contracts. Yeah. I mean, I got them dirt cheap, so no, no big deal, whatever, you know. It is what it is, but I should have sold them. It was up there at one time, and then I, I held them, and then they did this. They did this little meltdown that they did the last a while ago here, and it really just slammed the hell out of the options. So so I'm done with options for <coughs> Fubo. I still have a bunch for fuel cell, but... I'll let them go too eventually. Maybe sell them off. Because fuel cell I have. I think I have fuel cell options at a dollar. So they'll always be, probably always be in the money. But if it takes a, it takes a walk up on fuel cell here. Maybe back up to this buck 20 or something. I should have sold them today is what I should have done. But I didn't. But I'll probably get rid of them and then switch to shares and probably swing trade. I, I really don't want a day trade like this. I want I want this to run, so I'll try to gather some shares. No, I'm not getting no fifty or seventy thousand or nothing, but I don't want to get that deep into any of these yet. I got too much going on right now, other commitments I made. So I can't always be watching it. If I could be on, on here watching it all day long, then then I'd probably go pretty deep into it. <clears throat> and oh, another thing I wanted to say in this video, if you make it this far, is you know if if you have a ton of shares, you know I really would like it if you didn't post that in comments. You know, nobody really gives a shit how many shares you have. So why why even bother posting it? Not only that, you can say anything. You know, so why bother? You know, just you know, just say you're invested or yeah, I have shares or or whatever. You know, we don't need an amount. I don't give a shit if you have 5 or 500,000. I I really don't care. You know, doesn't matter. No, don't, no need to toot your own horn, you know? I mean, it's, everybody's situation is different. It, everybody's got to start somewhere. So, you know, all you do is discourage somebody else. Say, oh, well, why bother? I can't have that many, you know? And, that, and that's bullshit, you know? So, 
So just don't do it. I mean, if you're list, if you manage to watch this, just don't. There's no reason to post how many shares you have. So, I just wanted to get that out there. If somebody watches this, maybe that'll keep them from doing it. You know, but um, I wish everybody the best of luck. You know, I mean, just learn and watch and. <clears throat> You know, you get it. Eventually, you get it. You just keep, you know, even, you know, there's a lot of people that just lost a ton of money. And, you know, the biggest thing, sometimes losing a bunch is a probably the best lesson you'll ever learn. It's because you learn what not to do, you know. And, and hopefully it hits home so you don't keep repeating it, you know. So you have to learn. But this is, I'll tell you what, and I'm just flapping away here now, but um, people say it's gambling or, you know, it's like playing the lottery. You don't know where this is. No, no, it, it's not because you learn and you understand what's going on and you can predict what a market maker might do with, with something. You have time to react. So... You know, you go to the casino, pull the handle on a, or pull the handle or push the button uh, on a machine, the outcome of that is within your control. All you can do is watch. Where this, I mean, you have that option to sell, you know, when you're making money. But most of the time, people get too greedy. I've done it myself hundreds of times and you wait and you wait and wait and then all of a sudden it does this and you're like shit I should have sold you know so you know even like this let's let's just say I had shares down here and it took off this morning <clears throat> when I was day trading I probably would have sold here you know if you got them here you got them there anytime you can make you know, I don't know, I usually I win like 10% or something, but which is a lot, you know. But I mean, anywhere you can make a decent profit, depending, you know, you got to do the math. You know, if you, there's a big difference if you have 100 shares, if you have 1,000 shares. There's a huge difference there on, on what you make depending on the price increase. So, I mean, you do the math, you know. Would I sell them if I'm going to make $10? Well, it depends on what I felt, but $10 is $10, you know. I'd rather sell it and make $10 than, you know, have it down here and be down 50 I mean, it wouldn't be down that much, but you get the idea, you know. So, uh, you do, you make $10 10 times, you got 100 bucks. You do that 100 times, you know what I'm saying? It's so, it's like you just take profit, take profit, take profit. And that's, you learn to do that, you know, and watch your account grow. So, like I said, I, everybody's situation is different. There is no bad minimum or bad maximum or it's what you can afford, you know. I, I like taking more of a chance because I can. I'm, I'm single, kids are grown. You know, I I only answer to myself. So, good or bad, you know. And sometimes I can be my worst critic, let me tell you. So, well, let's wait and see what this does tomorrow. I'm, you know, it's either going to go up again in the morning. I, I was surprised to see that because they've been running it down, you know, every morning. But now they, they might be switching it up and we're going to go the opposite. We're going to run it up in the morning, run it down in the afternoon you know are they gonna or are they gonna run it down in the morning and try to keep it down being being as though it's Friday huh so we'll see yeah check check out the live I, I didn't say nothing you might have to you might have to zoom it in uh, fast forward it to where I start talking because a lot a lot of it I was just staring at it but so we'll see what they do tomorrow and I'll make another video over the weekend and 
we'll go from there probably do another live and get used to that and so have a good weekend you people